In this lecture, we are going to talk about what is callback. In the previous lecture, we understand what is event loop. In the event loop, we understand any function that making delay in the execution will execute at the end of the application. Now to solve this problem, we have promises and we also have callbacks. Promises and callbacks allow us to solve this problem and make the code asynchronous. A callback is a function that is passed into another function as an argument to be executed later. Callbacks are so common in JavaScript that you probably used callbacks yourself without knowing they are called callbacks. If you try to execute a long running operation within a single threaded event loop, the process is blocked. This is technically bad because the process stop processing other events while waiting for your operation to complete. Callbacks are used in two different ways, in synchronous functions and asynchronous function. So let's take a look at how synchronous function work using callback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply create here a function and I'm going to pass a console message inside this function. So here I'm going to create a function get message and then print get message on the console. Just out of that, I'm going to create another function down here and then specify name to it and then print display message text on the console using console.log. At the end, I'm going to call get message as well as I'm going to call display message. Now, as you know, when I save the changes and execute this file, I'm going to have the result something like this. So as you know, the call stack will first execute this get message function and then execute this display message function. The get message function executed at first and then display message is executed. Both display message in the output and both of them executed immediately. In certain situations, some code is not executed immediately. For example, if we assume that this get message function perform an API call where we have to send a request to the server and wait for the response. In that case, this function makes delay and the call stack will execute this function at the end of the application. Now, let me show you a very simple example. I'm going to just get rid of this console.log right from here and instead of this console.log I'm going to just simply say here set timeout and in this set timeout I'm going to specify arrow function just like this and specify console.log here and I'm going to just specify timer to this set timeout function so here I'm going to specify 1000 so this message will display after one second I'm going to save the changes and execute this file again when I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have a display message on the top. So this function is making delay in the execution. So the JavaScript will put this function at the end of the call stack. Now in this same situation, what I want, I want to execute this get message function at the beginning. Instead of executing this display message, I want to execute this get message. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to simply use asynchronous JavaScript. So what I want, I want to execute this function before this display message. In that case, I can use callback. Now let's take a look at how to create the asynchronous code using callback. In the set timeout function, we use here callback. As I said earlier, callbacks is a function that pass into another function as an argument. So you can notice here set timeout is a function and as an argument, we pass a callback function. So let's take a look at how to write this program in synchronous JavaScript. So now suppose you want to execute this display message function after this get message function. You want to execute this display message function in the call stack at the end. In that case, you can use asynchronous functions using callbacks. So let me show you how you can do it. So what I'm going to do is in this function, in this get message function, I'm going to simply pass two parameters. First is the message and second is the callback. You can name this parameter anything that doesn't matter. Now just out of that, in this console.log, I'm going to simply put here message. So I'm going to pass this parameter to this console.log. So when I call this function, I can pass value using this parameter. Just out of this console.log down here, I'm going to call this callback and I'm going to just specify parentheses just after this callback variable. So I'm going to just pass here function to the second argument to this get message function. So when you call this get message, you need to first specify a message and then call another function as an argument to this get message. To the arg so when you specify a function as an argument to this get message, I'm going to just call it using this statement. Now just for that, what you need to do is you just need to get rid of this display message right from here and to this get message, I'm going to pass some argument. As you know, we have this message as a first argument. So here I'm going to say in the double code, I'm going to say get 
message. You are free to specify any text here, that doesn't matter. And just out of that, I'm gonna pass my second argument. As you know, we have a function as a second argument. So this is what we call a callback function. So here, I'm gonna simply pass this function, display message. If you want, you can create a function here as well. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pass this function to this second argument. So I'm gonna copy this function and pass it here, just like this. Save the changes. And now let me execute this file. When I execute this file, you can notice I'm gonna have get message as a first result and then I'm gonna have display message. So the callback function is going to return the result what I want. Now let me explain this code line by line. I'm gonna just simply create a function, get message and pass two parameters here. First is the string parameter and second is the callback function. Just for that, here I'm gonna just add set timeout function to add some delay for executing this function. And then I'm gonna just call a console.log message and then call this callback function. So when you call this get message function, I'm gonna first pass get message. So this string is going to pass to this parameter and execute this console.log with this string. Just out of that, here I have the callback as a second argument. And just out of this console.log, I'm gonna call this callback function. So after one second, I'm gonna have the result what I want using this statement. Now suppose you don't want to specify the function reference as a second argument to this get message function. In that case, you can create the arrow function as well. For example, here I'm gonna create an arrow function. So I'm gonna get rid of argument and here I'm gonna say parentheses and specify arrow. And here I'm gonna say console.log and print display msg. Save the changes and execute this file. When I execute this file, I'm gonna have the result of what I want. So this function is going to execute the get message first and then execute this display message. So this function is called a callback function because we pass this function as an argument to the function. So I hope you understand how to work with callback in Node. Next, we'll talk about promises.